For coping with the limitations of algorithm power, we have two concepts. First one is backtracking that we saw previously. In this video, we will talk about branch and bound technique. In the backtracking process, the idea was to cut off a branch or a node as soon as we found out that it cannot lead us to a possible solution. But we are not optimizing the solution here. If you recall, in the Hamiltonian circuit problem, we just found the first possible route. The backtracking would continue to find other possible solutions. But what if there was an objective function like shortest Hamiltonian circuit or in other case, the most valuable subset of items in the knapsack problem. An optimization problem seeks to minimize or maximize some objective function like a tour length, the value of items selected, the cost of assignment, etc. A feasible solution is a point in the problem's search space that satisfies all the problem's constraints. Example, a Hamiltonian circuit in the traveling salesman problem or a subset of items whose total weight does not exceed the knapsack's capacity in the knapsack problem. Whereas an optimal solution is a feasible solution with the best value of the objective function. Example, the shortest Hamiltonian circuit or the most valuable subset of items that fit the knapsack. This concept of branch and bound helps us to find an optimal solution for a given problem. There are two additional requirements for branch and bound. First one is a bound on the best value of the objective function. This bound should be a lower bound for a minimization problem and an upper bound for the maximization problem. Second one is the value of the best solution found so far. If the bound value is not better than the value of best solution seen so far, that is not smaller for a minimization and not larger for a maximization problem, then the node is said to be non-promising and it can be terminated. Solution yielding from it will not be better than the ones we already have. This is the idea behind branch and bound. We terminate the search path for these three reasons. First one is if the bound is not better than the best solution seen so far. Second is when a node is not a feasible solution because the constraint of the problem is violated. Third one is if the subset of feasible solutions represented by the node consists of a single point. In that case, update best solution seen so far with the value of objective function if the new solution is better. The process of branch and bound is similar to that of BFS, whereas in backtracking we saw that it was similar to DFS. An important point with respect to the order followed in branch and bound is that rather than generating a single child of the last promising node as we did in backtracking, here in branch and bound we will generate all the children of the most promising node among non-terminated leaves in the current tree. These still promising nodes are called live nodes. We can identify the nodes which are most promising by comparing the lower bounds of the live nodes. The nodes with the best bound is considered as most promising but there might also be a possibility of solution not being in that particular branch of state space tree. This variation is called best first branch and bound. This is an example state space tree. This is root. This is level 1. This is level 2. From root, you will explore breadth first. You will explore all the possible selections that you can make for level 1. You will then calculate the lower bound or the upper bound depending on the type of problem. Then you will choose an optimal value among those. From that point, you will again branch out and see all the possible branches. Eventually, you will end up finding an optimal solution.